right guys, I'm uh, doing a double bubble this weekend. This is a follow on from my last run, Pirate Cast. Okay, I'm down at my son's down in uh, Pimlico, down in London. And I'm going to be bringing a review to you of Siglo di Oro, which uh, is a Dominican rum, their flagship rum. Siglo di Oro translates to English, it means the Spanish Golden Age or the Golden Century. Okay, it's from the Dominican Republic, which is on the island of Hispaniola. Also shares its borders with Haiti, which uh, I've got a rum coming from Haiti for a review. I've just uh, received it and it is the uh, Barbon Court Reserve, so family reserve, so that's one to watch. Uh, and Haiti is situated in the Greater Antilles Archipelago of the Caribbean. So, like I said, we go on now to uh, the rum itself, produced by Brugal. Siglo uh, di Oro is the most prized rum within the Brugal portfolio, along with Unico, and they only produce 2,000 bottles of Siglo di Oro and, Un and Unico per year which most are consumed within the Dominican Republic, so it's very hard to get hold of. Um, in the UK, I've looked online, pretty much I can't find anywhere in the UK that sells it or has it in stock. You have to get it from Europe. And um, I found a website in Germany that sells it, but I'll get onto that later on. Um, so, like I said, when I was on holiday in the, the Dominican Republic, I'd done a visit of the uh, Brugal Rum Factory, and in Porta Plata, and they didn't even have none for sale there. And uh, so, you know, like I said, it's a very hard to get hold of rum. Uh, this rum originated back in 1988 to commemorate more than 100 years of rum production excellence since the founding of the Bruegel Rum Distillery in 1888. So. Like I said, this is like a, you know, a rum they brought out to commemorate that um, excellence in rum production. Uh, it's doubles are stilled from molasses. Uh, then it's aged for eight years in medium toasted American ex-bourbon barrels. And then placed into new oak barrels for another eight years. And the final blend is a blend of rums between 16 and 21 years of age. Caribbean rum so you know a lot of time effort is put into this rum uh, I'm going to take out the box now and we're going to have a little uh, look at the uh, bottle itself now Siglo di Oro comes in a gorgeous deep blue ceramic bottle, bottle with Siglo di Oro Brugal you know come on that bottle is impressive no question about it on your shelf, people are going to ask, what the hell is that? And, you know, it is a gorgeous rum bottle to, be, to put your rum in. Uh, comes in a cork top. Now, this, they've had a recent update, uh, going back a year or so. And Siglo di Oro now does not come in this blue bottle. It comes in this bottle, which I'm going to show you here. Now, really nice design bottle, very modern up with all the rums that you'd expect it to be. You know, some people will be, you know, hardline and say they prefer the old blue Siglo Diaro. It is a special bottle, and there's no question about it. And some people will be up for the more modern bottle. Whichever, it's the contents that we're here to review today, mostly. So, like I said, even though you are paying a lot of money, you want a nice presentation either way. It's nice presentated, it's presentated in the blue, it's also very nicely presented in the new way. So let's get down to tasting the rum itself. I'm going to pour a glass. There we go. Put the lid back on. Uh, Colour. An absolutely very light, surprisingly light copper tone to this, uh, to this rum, considering the age. Um, smell itself first of all as with all Brugal rums very oaken very oak 
quite strong oak smell indeed. And then you go to a quite a light sort of caramel smell. Um, maybe a little hint of vanilla in there. It's, you know, it's, it's okay. It's not too bad at all. I'm going to go for a taste. Now, Brugal rum, I've got to say this, to me, it's always very, seems to be heavily wooded. Um, it's really a lot of heavy wood going through there, um, oak through your very stringent oak. And then there's a, an underlying taste of, I can only explain it as being like a damp chamois leather. It's it's a bit it's a bit strange really it's a it's sort of a leathery uh, taste to the rum as well. Um, let's have a little bit of taste. Sort of raisins um, coming in there, and like I said, there's a very very woody overtones coming across through the old rum, and we go for a little bit of the finish. The finish is sort of sweet vanilla and then it goes to really, really dry. Very dry. Now, in fact, my mouth now is bone dry. It really is dry and out. Uh, it's quite a, quite a dry finish to it. And with a little tinge of backburn slightly, which I'm surprised about for being a, a blend of rums up to 16 to 21 years old. I spent maybe, maybe a little bit smoother on the finish. But, you know, it's each to his own. And, you know, this rum here, if you, it's hard to get hold of. You can't pick this rum up in the UK. Um, I've tried it in numerous places online, can't seem to find it. Um, the only place I could find it is in Germany, and they want 130 euros for this rum. It's probably about near on the 90-odd 90, 90 pound to 100 pound mark to buy this in the UK. Um, it's it's a pleasant enough rum. Would I pay a hundred pound for it? Probably not. There's a lot of rums out there which I feel is a lot better than uh, for the money. But you know, everyone to his own and each to his taste. As I, like I say, this is my personal opinion. But in generally, it's a nice, it's okay rum. Uh, and my name's Andy. And cheers. <laughs>